We hear about the large-scale effects of climate change all the time now. We're hearing reports of flooding, landslide, tsunamis, and the increasing number and strength of hurricanes and tornadoes across the globe. We see footage of polar ice caps melting and glaciers receding, but how is climate change affecting us in our daily lives? In this video series, we look at some of the local effects of climate change here in our own backyard. In recent years and recent months, we certainly have been inundated with information and issues surrounding climate change from a global perspective. We've heard of floods, we've heard of droughts, we've heard of snowstorms in places that they have never seen snow before. So while it might seem overwhelming to tackle global solutions, it is possible to look at climate change and to deal with climate change from a local perspective by finding local solutions. In our watersheds at the Hamilton Conservation Authority, we are looking at ways of dealing with extreme events. And certainly, we have seen extreme events in the Hamilton area, including flooding, uh, very intensive storms, uh, wind storms as well, um, and also significant erosion resulting from some of these events. Watersheds at those areas that are, have been defined by their streams or local rivers and they are the lands that drain to these significant water bodies. For example, our watersheds in the Hamilton area drain parts to Scoots Paradise and then to Hamilton Harbor and ultimately ending up in Lake Ontario. The watersheds to the west of us, uh, for example in the Grand River watershed, um, will end up, will travel through the Grand River and then ultimately empty to the Lake Erie system. In terms of our work, we want to look at some of the functions and features associated with our watersheds so that we could come up with local solutions. To give you an idea of what's been happening within our local area, in 2011 we experienced a number of extreme events. These included a very wet spring and associated flooding with local microburst storms that resulted in extreme floodings in different locations. We also extreme experienced um, wind, very strong wind events that in the case of Christie Conservation Area, you know, large trees were actually blown down during one of these storms. In, later on in the summer of 2011, we also experienced extreme drought conditions where the Conservation Authority did have to um, alert users of our water systems to try to cut back to deal with the low water conditions. In the series of interviews and videos that this session is, is based on, you'll be hearing about various local impacts on various aspects of our ecosystem. It is hoped that we can then go on and show you uh, some examples of what you can do in your area and on your own to be able to adapt to the conditions of climate change.